Hi, I'm Professor Figgy, and this is Kids Lab. Crystals are one of my favorite natural phenomena, like this quartz crystal here. Isn't it beautiful? See, it has a, a very specific structure and flat surfaces on it called facets. Crystals form through a process called crystallization. Now, in nature, this can happen when hot liquid magma, which is hot liquid rock under the crust of the Earth, slowly cools under high pressure. And that's when you get fabulous crystals, beautiful crystals like diamonds, rubies, emeralds. Or crystals can form through the evaporation of a solution like seawater to give us sea salt. But did you know you can form your very own crystals right here in the lab using simple materials that you can find around your home? So what we need to start is three pipe cleaners. We're going to make a snowflake mold like this that our crystals will grow on. So you want to cut those pipe cleaners into three six-inch pieces and six two-inch pieces. So take your three six-inch pieces of pipe cleaner, and you see how you have the six sides of a snowflake here. So we're going to take these three pieces, and we're going to twist them together. And you want to twist them together tightly so they hold their shape. And there you have the start of your snowflake. Then, for each one of these six ends, take one of the two-inch pieces and twist that on to form a little V, which will be the end of your snowflake, like that. And do that five more times. And you want to make sure you twist these really tight so they hold on. Now, you can use any kind of pipe cleaner while you're making this snowflake. I'm using tinsel because I like the color green, and I think that the tinsel will look really fabulous with the crystals on it, but you can also use a regular white chenille pipe cleaners or even chenille pipe cleaners of another color. Now you have your snowflake mold, and then we have to add a little piece of wire to it. So take your pliers and just create a little loop here on this top arm of your snowflake. We're going to slide the wire through twist the wire to secure it, and there you have your crystal snowflake mold. So now we're going to make a super saturated solution of borax and water. And because we're working with borax, you want to be sure to wear gloves to protect your hands. Now, a super saturated solution means that we've heated up the water so it will absorb more borax than it normally would at room temperature. And then as it cools, the water can no longer hold all that borax, so it comes out of solution, and that's where you get your crystals. So, three cups of very, very hot water, and you want to get a heaping half cup of borax. Oh, it's okay if you make a little bit of a mess. It's part of being in the lab. And then you're going to stir that around, and you want to dissolve all of the borax. If you don't dissolve all of it, the borax at the bottom of the container will pick up your crystals, and the pipe cleaners that you've made your snowflake out of will not. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, where can you get borax? Just go to your laundry detergent aisle in any grocery store, and they should have it. So, all of our borax is dissolved now. And we have a really large container here, so you want to make enough solution to fill the container up as much as possible. So we'll add this here. There we go. And then you want to stir your solution around. And I have a lot of solution here, but make sure you use that same ratio when you're making the solution for your container of three cups of very hot water to a heaping half cup of the borax. And now we want to put our snowflake mold into the solution. And you want to be sure that the bottom doesn't touch the bottom of the container, that the top is submerged completely in the solution, and that you don't touch the sides of the container either. So a good way to do this is to Place your snowflake against your container, and then just measure where the top of the container is. Bend the wire a little bit, and you're going to wrap this wire around a wooden spoon or a craft stick, something that will hold it over the mouth of your container, and then submerge your snowflake completely in the solution. And now we wait. And then after about 12 hours or overnight, you'll see that all of these crystals have formed in your container. And they've formed on your pipe cleaners to give you this fabulous crystal snowflake. 
Now you want to take this off the spoon very, very carefully because your crystals are still wet and a little fragile. And then you can dry them completely on the newspaper. Don't forget, you can reuse this solution. You just have to heat up the water, dissolve all the crystals again, put another snowflake mold right into the solution, and grow another snowflake. And now that our snowflake is dry, I think it'll look extra nice if we add a little bit of iridescent glitter. So you want to take a little bit of spray adhesive, and this is where you might want to get an adult to help you out. And just spray a little bit of that onto your snowflake, and then take your glitter and sprinkle a little bit of it on top. There we go. And shake off the excess. And wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, after this dries completely, you're going to want to coat your snowflake with either a spray acrylic or a spray polyurethane because these crystals over time will dehydrate and turn a chalky white color. So with a sealant like that, they will last a really long time. So let's review what we learned today. Crystals form through a process called crystallization, which can happen when magma cools, when salt water evaporates, when water freezes, or in this case, when crystals come out of a super saturated solution. Thank you for joining me in the lab today. I hope you enjoyed our experiment. I know I did. And don't forget to share your photos and videos of your crystals with me on Facebook and Instagram.